There were a lot of other headlines today. And first off, President Trump and his choice of words at the White House today, honoring Native American heroes from World War II. They were code talkers. But what he then said with them all standing there, ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl tonight. At an event today to honor Navajo code talkers, Native American heroes of World War II, President Trump issued a racially charged insult, labeling a political foe, quote, Pocahontas. You're very, very special people. You were here long before any of us were here. Although we have a representative in Congress who they say was here a long time ago. They call her Pocahontas. But you know what? I like you because you are special. The three Navajo heroes, all in their 90s, reacted with silence. The venue was new, but the insult is one the president used over and over again during the campaign to attack Senator Elizabeth Warren, who came under fire in 2012 for claiming, without any proof, to have Native American heritage. Did you ever hear Pocahontas? Huh? It's Pocahontas Elizabeth Warren. But the purpose of today's event was to honor Native American war heroes. Why did he feel the need to say something that is offensive to many people while honoring the Navajo code talkers, these genuine American I think heroes. what most people find offensive is uh, Senator Warren lying about her heritage to advance her career. Today, Warren fired back. It is deeply unfortunate that the President of the United States cannot even make it through a ceremony honoring these heroes without having to throw out a racial slur. She said it was a racial slur. What is your response to that? I, I think that's a ridiculous response. All right, so let's get to John Carl live with us tonight from the White House. And John, this all comes at a crucial time for the president. Many Republicans likely wanted him to stick to the script today on the tax plan, a vote expected this week. I know he can only afford to lose two senators on this. Where do things stand, John? The president's going to Capitol Hill tomorrow, David, to make a big push for the tax plan. As you point out, he can only afford to lose two Republican votes in the Senate, and there are already several Republicans who have expressed concerns about the tax plan. That said, the White House says they are confident that they will get the votes needed to pass it. All right. You'll be following it all week for us, John Carl.